If you lie on the witness stand, you could be facing perjury charges, and that's a felony. The, well, this wouldn't be happening, Jax, if he stayed the hell away from my family's business. Why are you so surprised that I would lie to save Sonny? I'm just trying to clean up the mess that you made. Will always be a permanent part of my life. He's the father, the father of, of my two sons. I know. I, I will know do whatever it takes to keep Sonny out of prison. Even if it means being convicted of perjury. Huh? Maybe you'll both end up behind bars. I How's that going to help? How's that going to help Morgan the kids? Watch their father be sent to prison, Jax. You know, there was a brief time after Michael was shot when I thought you'd come to your senses, when you realized how much danger the boys were in. What's it going to take to remind you of that? Huh? What's it going to take to remind you of what it was like not knowing if Michael was going to live or die or if he was going to come out of the coma? He woke up and he's fine. He's not fine. And someone has to take responsibility for it. You risk Michael's freedom by trying to get revenge on Sonny. Carly, all I did was cooperate with the authorities, okay? Don't make me have to be the bad guy here. Besides, I never wanted you to get involved with this. I, and I wish they, you would involved. just let this play out the way it's supposed to. Right. You're a coward, okay? Admit it. Own up to what you did. Be glad to. You're not defending your family. It's your chance to get back at me. Oh, really, Sonny, I hate to break it to you, but I really don't care how you end up. All I want is my family to be safe. What about my family? You knew the truth about Dante. Didn't say a word. You let the investigation continue, knowing it could ruin everybody's life. And what about Michael? You say you love him. You risk his sanity and his freedom, blaming me for what he did. No, Sonny. It was your idea to cover up Claudia's murder, okay? That's the secret that's gonna ruin that kid's life. The only reason you're breathing is because you're married to Carly. When are you gonna dump this son of a bitch? Because I've waited too long to put an end to this. Threaten me or interfere with my marriage, okay? No, Jax is right. This is a really bad time for you to okay, say things Carly, like that. Carly, I don't need him in my house thrashing my life. Well, you're doing a pretty good job of that on your own. Okay, you know what, deal with Jax the way you want, but don't kid yourself, because he'll sacrifice you and your family, your marriage, everything, if it means getting over on me. He's already proven that, right? I'm trying to save my marriage, Sonny, and protect the lives of the people that I love. There are four children to protect. Five if you count Dante, but it's a little late for him, isn't it? Well, don't it? pretend to be a hero, because you could have saved Dante's life if you just told the damn truth. It's not my place to tell you, is it? Besides, Olivia made it very clear to me that she didn't want you to have anything to do with her son. And can you blame her? I mean, think about it. What a horrible thing for a good guy like Dante to find out house. that you're his dad. Get the hell out of my house. Gladly get out of your house. Listen to me. I love you with all my heart, okay? But if he's not stopped, it's going to destroy you and the kids. And the fact that you're defending him after everything he's done just proves that I made the right choice about cooperating with the police. Yeah, uh, the arraignment went just like I said it would. Uh, they, you know, they set a trial date, and uh, I left, came home. Where you been? Buffalo. Really? Like you didn't know, Max decided that he had to teach me how to drive the limo on the highways. It was one way to make sure that I didn't end up at the courthouse. Well, it's just as well you... You wouldn't like the prosecutor to try to revoke my bail. Well, I thought you said it all went like you planned. I, I'm, I'm free, right? Yeah. I guess you're feeling pretty relieved. Yeah. Uh, Dante helped. I mean, you know, they, they, the prosecutor put him on the stand and started grilling him about how he got shot. Did Dante lie? Uh, he, he stuck to his stories. He said that uh, he shot himself accidentally. Well, I guess we all own for that. It's pretty tense. I mean, there was a moment I couldn't breathe. But it worked out, you know, Dante came through. Well, you must be really proud of your son. I'll tell you something right now because I think you're old enough to hear it and understand it. There was a time in my life that I swore that I'd never have a child because 
I didn't think that, you know, I, I wanted to bring a child into the life that I led. But underneath it, it was about, I didn't feel I deserved it. I didn't have the right to that kind of pure, innocent love that a, a child brings. And then you came into my life. And all, all bets were off. I was hooked. And you know what? Everything I learned about being a father, I learned from you. And not, none of my other children can claim that. I'm sorry. Sorry, Dad. I, I didn't mean to make you feel guilty. No, no. It's not about feeling guilty. You've had to pay the price. And that's why. I am I'm in trial to make amends for what I've done to you. That's what I owe you as a father. 